everybody, this is Karen. Welcome back to our channel called Our House. And in this video, we're gonna go over the Spencerian penmanship backstory and announce the winner of the giveaway. So I really like to look up the history on these things and it seems like a lot of you in the comments from the Dick and Jane video like it as well. So just get yourself a cup of coffee or some tea and let's go down memory lane. Well, it's not really our memories, but you know what I mean. Down the history road. Fun fact, the Ford Motors and the Coca-Cola logo is written in Spencerian penmanship. And it was the de facto writing style from 1850 to about 1925 when it just had, when it was just shut down by this one item. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. Let's get right to it. Platt Roger Spencer used existing handwriting scripts, you know, kind of, we would say like fonts today on the computer, but obviously there was no computer, so it was, uh, scripts you know he took other people's scripts and kind of made his own that was like oval based penmanship and he wanted something that you could write out quickly but was elegant enough for business and yet personal enough for you know personal letters so just kind of a one-off thing he developed it in 1840 and he started teaching it in a school he had this school where he taught this penmanship style and the graduates from that school, they went off into different parts of the country and even all over the world, and they began teaching it themselves, making up their own schools, which I thought was really interesting. And so that's how it started to take off and build momentum until eventually it reached all the schools, the primary schools. Everybody was teaching this. Unfortunately, Mr. Spencer did not get to see the success of his program because he died in 1864. So he didn't get to see this whole widespread um, embrace of his program, unfortunately, but his sons carried on the mission of seeing his father's total dream into fruition. Their father had written a book called The Spencerian Key to Practical Penmanship, and it, but it wasn't published, it wasn't being circulated, it just, you know, he had passed away so they took that book and they started to distribute it they published it they distributed it, and that was in 1866 so that's really what made it become the standard in the u.s um, in that time and it was very popular like i said coca-cola general motors they had their logo with spencerian penmanship um, characters however in 1920 the birth of another invention just really made this penmanship style completely obsolete. And that was the typewriter. The typewriter came out and everybody thought, ah, there's no need for this anymore. This is obsolete. No need to write out all the documents anymore. We can just type them. And so that was the end of the Spencerian penmanship. However, it has gotten new life lately. This resurgence of this has come about. And that's thanks to the internet and video tutorials, you know, blog tutorials. Um, you've seen that uh, hand lettering has become very popular. So a lot, you know, it's kind of, people are liking going to the old past, the old ways. You know, people now, after we've been digital so long, they really appreciate a hand lettered piece of art, letter, you know, what have you. It's special. So it's had this, you know, resurgence. It's really become popular in charter schools again, in private schools, and especially in the homeschool community. It's really been kind of picked up and embraced again by homeschoolers. And like I said, a lot of, you know, businesses, you know, a lot of, just look up on Etsy. You'll see a lot of hand lettering. But so on the business side of it, it was kind of being it was kind of being phased out, it was obsolete, everybody was using the typewriter, but then what about in the schools? Well, in the schools, it also kind of was replaced by the Palmer method developed by Austin Norman Palmer, which was just like an easier way. It was an easier penmanship style, so the schools just went with the easier one. What it is today is a theory book behind me, and then we have five penmanship books that you can practice on. This is number five. I mean, it is beautiful. The writing style 
it's beautiful and so you start in the very first book just practicing the strokes and then uh, by book five you're doing full-on sentences um, but yeah these these copy books are really excellent if you want to improve your handwriting if you want to do a hand lettering business or some kind of stationary business or something um, then there's a lot of value in just getting these books and they're really affordable if you go on Amazon they're really not expensive they're really affordable and so a lot of people spend a lot of money on a penmanship course but I mean this is right here and your theory book it has the penmanship in nine easy lessons so I'm gonna be giving this new set away and if you're not the winner of this giveaway there is still a little something for you if you go on my website and you go under free homeschooling you will see free practice sheets for the Spencerian and I like to put them in sheet protectors and have my kids use the thin dry erase markers and just practice with them over and over that way I'm not printing all the time um, they like anything that's dry erase you know so you can do something like that for your children or for yourself if you want to practice so if you don't win today's giveaway there's still something for you on my blog so check it out okay so I did the random generator thing again and the winner came up until full day that's the name of the account until full day you are the winner of the theory book and the five copy books i will get with you in the comments and get your information so that i can ship this out for you thank you to everybody who participated in the giveaway and left a comment and i have a new giveaway to announce so we're gonna keep this going and we're gonna be giving more stuff away so what I wanted the new giveaway to be is the Barron's painless kit okay so we have painless spelling painless grammar and painless writing okay now full disclosure okay two of these I got at the thrift store okay so they're not brand new but they're still in excellent condition there's no writing in them or anything like that um, yeah there's no writing nothing highlighted you know they're just older I mean this is this is an oldie but goodie and then this one I ordered new okay so I made this little set and I did not know there was a public speaking one too um, my friend just let me know about that one recently I didn't know they did that one but these painless books they are really great and I posted about them in a homeschooling dupes video and I'll link it I'll put it in a card up here if you want to watch that how you can develop your own homeschooling curriculum really just off of these three books the painless spelling the painless grammar and painless writing you could develop a full homeschooling course right here but they make it really fun they have brain ticklers these are really cool books so I thought it'd be fun to do a giveaway for these and all you have to do if you want to be entered is just let me know just write in the comments below that you'd like to be entered into the painless giveaway it's a painless set giveaway so i'm going to be doing more giveaways so make sure you subscribe to this channel because your odds are good this is a small channel right, guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye